Hey folks, this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors. And uh, I'm out here today shooting my Black Widow 2007 PSA X that I had purchased from a good fellow by the name of Ashley Clark uh, from Mississippi. And I want to thank him for selling me such an awesome bow. But today I'm out here on the target range uh, doing, fulfilling a request um, from several folks to uh, let them know they would like to know how I shoot my uh, traditional bows. And uh, I must say that the style that I shoot, I haven't seen anyone else combining uh, the three styles of instinctive, point of aim, and face walking. Um, I guess probably the first thing that I need to say is that each individual will have a different uh, point on um, range. Uh, mine happens to be um, 15 yards three fingers under, middle finger in my corner of my mouth. Um, and probably, I guess probably the easiest thing to do is just get out in the, the yard there with a big target and um, just see what your point on is at your standard uh, anchor point. Um, my standard way that I put my fingers is three under, 90% uh, of the time um, and so what we'll do is we'll go through this with this here the first thing you need to do is you need to shoot the same length of arrows all the time you can't jump back and forth to, from a full length to a 30 inch arrow to a 29 inch arrow or your point of aim is going to be off uh, dramatically uh, I shoot a full length arrow uh, 300 grains up front, um, which puts it between 15 and 16 FOC, percent FOC, and um, I like that for penetration on uh, on my deer and uh, bear. So, uh, full length arrow, um, of course, your uh, technique has to be spot on every time if you want to hit consistently. Uh, the anchor point that I use is um, will be like uh, for 90% of the time it will be like three fingers under and when I come back the middle finger is in the corner of my mouth and on my eye tooth on the right side. And not only that, but my index finger is locked against my jawbone. And I try each time I release to keep that locked on my face. And that minimizes your plucking dramatically. I mean, it's almost nil as far as plucking goes. But, it, you know, if you're doing this number and, and this number and all this stuff you have uh, the opportunity to pluck dramatically there and it's that will throw your shot off big time. So what works for me is this anchor point here when I release I just relax my fingers let the string slide off and try to keep um, that knuckle tight against my jawbone there so it's not plucking out. Now doesn't always work like that. Sometimes it, my hand will come away an inch or so. Um, sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes it does matter. So we need to work on that. Um, now, my style of shooting is basically point of aim. Instinctive and point of aim. Now, somebody says, how can that be instinctive and point of aim? Well, the instinctive part comes with the yardage. Uh, being able to judge the yardage instinctively and calculating what that yardage is. Now, the point of aim, 
uh, for 15 yards will be the tip of my arrow on the target where I want to hit, concentrating where I want to hit. I'm not concentrating on my arrow, but I see my arrow. And to be consistent, you know, you have to concentrate on the spot you want to hit, but you will see your arrow, okay? And it subconsciously, it, you're aiming with that. I don't care your style of shooting, whatever it is, subconsciously or consciously, you're aiming with your arrow. You know, you're, you're, if you say you're shooting instinctive, well, you're actually... When you draw back and you're focusing on your, your target, your your mind and your eye, they do see your arrow. But with point of aim, you're purposely putting that point on the target. Um, now, that's for 15 yards. I shoot three under with the middle finger in my mouth and of course everything else like I told you the index finger knuckle is locked against my jawbone and what I do when I get to full draw with my bow canned a little bit my head will nod right down in to where the arrow is right under my eye and that puts everything in line now another thing that we need to do is when you draw make sure your elbows not way up here you want your elbow in line parallel with the arrow coming back everything is in line elbow when you get back a certain distance then you come on back and lock it in and let it go with your rhomboid your back muscle there uh, you have to. You can't just do this with your with your elbow sticking out 90 degrees, but it's got to be parallel. And I can't explain how you, you're locking your back muscle or whatever. It just has to come by feel. Now the 15 yard, as I told you, is my middle finger, three fingers under, middle finger in the corner of my mouth. Now, if I'm shooting 3D, we'll go up to 30 yards. If I'm shooting live deer, rarely do I do 30. Rarely do I do 25. 20 yards, I like to keep as my max, unless the situation offers uh, a perfect scenario for me to take that shot. Uh, the animal's calm. Uh, everything is fine. He has a perfect broadside. I can get a good shot. Uh, then I might take a 25 or 30 yard shot. But if we're shooting 3D and I need to shoot 20 yards, it's still three fingers under. But watch this. As we draw back, it's not the middle finger in the corner of my mouth now, but it's the index finger. And what I've actually done is I've lowered the rear sight to where the air is going to shoot a little higher. And what I found is that point on at 20 yards is right on, three fingers under with the index finger in the corner of my mouth. And everything else is the same. Now... If we're shooting 25, you might say, how, how am I going to do that? Well, shooting 25, we jump to what's known as Mediterranean. It's where we split the top finger and the middle finger on the string. And there I'm shooting split finger now. And as we come back for 25 yards, everything is the same, except I'm shooting split finger with the middle finger in the corner of my mouth, I've actually lowered my rear sight again. And it's given me another height. And the point on is the same. Now, a step further. 30 yards. 
point on. Everything's the same. We're shooting Mediterranean or split finger and we're coming back to the corner of my mouth split finger except it's not the middle finger anymore it's the index finger I've lowered my rear sight even more so that's that's given me anywhere from 15 to 30 yards just by moving my my anchor point which is called face walking I call that face walking. Alright, one more thing. <clears throat> Say I'm shooting um, 10 or 12 yards. Alright, what I will do is say if it's 10 yards or 12 yards, what I will do is, is a, a process called string walking. Would you let me get this around here and see if I can show you? What I will do, I'm three fingers under, and my index finger's up to the bottom of the arrow. I take my thumb, and I put it right there where the middle finger and the index finger meet, and I'll slide my hand down to where my thumb is at the top of my index finger and you see the space there that's called string walking and then I'll come back and I'll shoot three under middle finger in my mouth with the point on uh, on the target on the bullseye and you'd be surprised how deadly that is uh, that's called string walking from 10 to 12 yards or closer um, so that's my technique of shooting. I hope that it's helped you. Um, and like I say, I, I haven't noticed anyone else uh, that shoots like this. And a lot of folks will look and say, well, that's way too complicated. Really, it's not. Very simple. All you have to do, all you have to do is, by repetition, 20 yards, three fingers under, index finger in your mouth. 15 yards, three fingers under, middle finger in your mouth. 25 yards, Mediterranean style, middle finger in your mouth. And 30 yards, you just drop that middle finger down to the index finger in the corner of your mouth. Each finger width, to me, for me, uh, estimates about a five yard difference in distance so between the middle and the index it's about five yards difference um, and this is uh, really worked really really well for me um, so I hope it's it's helped you and uh, if you like this video um, give it a thumbs up um, like it on Facebook and uh, subscribe to YouTube Stevens Family Outdoors and uh, we really appreciate that. All right. Hey, God bless. I'm going to shoot one more time here. Let's see what we got.